hello guys how are you i hope you all are doing good so i am back with my another video today on azure function so today i am give you demo on how we can call azure function from the microsoft dynamic crm plugin so if you are like crm background you all know the plugins and we have generally the requirement from the client side that we have to call our uh, Azure function from the plugin by giving certain inputs from plugin to Azure function and Azure function might uh, do some other task or it will call some third API that will be called by Azure function so we often need a requirement like we need to call our Azure, fun Azure function from our plugin so I'll give you that uh, code over here you can have a look into that so first thing like you, you all know like Azure function is a kind of piece of code on the Azure on the, on the cloud that you can run like you can run your piece of code by deploying to your Azure function without needing any uh, virtual machine or any other platform it just a give you kind of platform that you can run your piece of code to the server so in order to call the Azure function you have to make a web client so before that I can tell you that I have one Azure like a plugin that I have created which is on pre create optation of the plugin so first I get you can see the plugin contest I organization service and the tracking service that I have created and from it is as on the create of the record so before creating i need to call the azure function so that's why i registered this plugin on the pre uh, operation of the plugin and then i am getting the inputs from the plugin like name and the vendor id i want uh, at the time of creation and then i created one uh, class to serialize this object uh, into this format into the json format so i have created name and the vendor id and uh, after creating that you, i have serialized into this class create disclosure list and to create and uh, to call the azure function you first you need the uh, your function url so once you deploy to your uh, once you deploy your azure function to the portal you will get uh, get uh, url if you click on that you will get the url and along with that code so you need to segregate your url Till equal to and this is the code of my Azure function we call the function key and the URL so first you need to create the web client after creating your serialize object and just give the memory dot stream and it got serialized then give the web client after giving the web client give the header application dot JSON and this segregate your code and then segregate your you service URL that is the function URL that you will get from the Azure portal and once you get then you need to send this you need to do web client dot upload string upload is your service url will be concatenation of your full url and the json object that you pa you want to pass as an input to your azure function so basically here i am calling one http azure function that expect certain inputs that i am passing from here and after after calling it i am creating some response which is called id so if the i'm getting the response id then i am giving back this response to the CRM as it is a pre operation. I am not doing the service dot update because we don't need that in case of pre operation. Just pass this target dot attribute your response and then I am doing handling su success message like it is all skip send. The message has been successfully sent to the Azure function. If you get any exception, I am throwing it here and here also. So if you like th that's it for this video and if you really like in my video please like and share and subscribe to my channel for the more videos and in the next video i am going to tell you how we can tag we how we can debug the azure function so stay tuned guys thank you so much for the love and support bye